What's up, guys? My name is Matthew. I'm about Iron Man 3. And it only comes out in like three hours. And at midnight. And you know what? I'm sorry to talk about it. Of what I think is going to happen in the game. So let's start off by saying about talking about his suits. In the movie, you see many different kinds of suits. Uh, you see Iron Patriot, who is actually Jane, um, Rhodey, and he changed his, the Mark II, which he stole from Iron, stole from Tony Stark in the second movie, and turned that into, it turned into War Machine, and then it turned now into the Iron Patriot. So that's cool. And then, at Comic-Con, they released, uh, they had an exhibit, I believe, and it showed, like, the Mark, uh, 1 through 5, and all that stuff in the background, but, um, then they had it right in the center, the Mark 43, I, I think, 42, 43, tell me in the comments, uh, I can't remember, but, um, yeah, we talk about that, and based on the trailers and the apps, the app that they gave out, the official Iron Man app, that if you went to the suits, you'd see all the different suits, like Mark, like 39 or something, and then they have like a name, like it was Eagle, Gemini, all those. And that seems kind of cool to me. And what I think it is, is because Iron Man 3 takes place two years after the Avengers. And what I think Tony Stark realizes is that it is that he cannot protect the people he loves and the city he loves alone. So he creates these suits to protect him and basically be everywhere and help everyone while being an Iron Man in a way. So that's cool. It's a cool theme. And um, there's a lot of different things. In the Lego version, which is kind of interesting is how I'm going to how they're going to represent this, is that in the Lego version, they actually showed Pepper Potts at the Malibu Beach House, like, destruction thing. They actually showed Pepper Potts in the 42 Iron Armor. I think it's 42. 42 Armor. Or Mark 42 Armor. And that's kind of interesting, because that could mean that she gets to step into the light for once in the Iron Man suit. Now, would it also, um... What's also interesting is who is going to die in this movie. We, we get that everybody's going to be turned, like, all the, the villain is going to be turned down. I mean, they're going to be sent to Earth. And, or killed. I mean, it's a superhero movie. But what's interesting is that I'm wondering who is in the suit when the Malibu's, Malibu Beach House part crashes down. Could it be Pepper Potts? Could it be Tony Stark? Could it, or could it just be robotic? You tell me in the comments what you guys think. And now I want to talk about, it's going to be interesting with the suits of how he's prepared them. Because over the past three movies of the Avengers, Iron Man 2, and now Iron Man 3, Iron Man 2 showed us something really cool, which was suitcase armor. Which is basically, he could carry around his armor, which was awesome. That's awesome. And then in the Avengers, we saw he had the watch, and it signified this, like the piece. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Oh, no. <coughs> and that, and um, what they've shown is that basically he can put on different parts to use. So you basically, he could just have, like, the boots on, and he could fly around, and yet the rest of his body is exposed. I don't know why you'd want to do that, because you could, like, fall and hurt yourself. But, that's kind of interesting. Now, the story and the villains. The story and the villains is kind of interesting to me. The story seems really awesome. Um, I've caught this if, on Disney, if you watch that. Um, there was a clip where he talked about, um, his suit breaks in, like, the city, in this village, or something. Or the small town, and, um... This kid decides to help him. 
so that's that's what they were talking about in that. That's kind of cool. Like when he, if you guys have seen the trailer, like when he falls down and he flips the face flat off, and it shows like his face like really bruised up. Now what I think that is is that the first time he meets the Mandarin and he's so overpowered. And I'm really interested to see about that. Now we have the villains. Um. Based on what, yeah, I, I, we already know it's going to be the Mandarin, but, um, based on what I've seen, I'm wondering if that guy in the suit who looks kind of evil, um, is going to play, in a way, the new, um, Hamlet, Mr., uh, what, who is it, from the last, he's from Iron Man 2, um, Hamlet, who created all those drones, basically, a person who has so much money, and they'll invest in a bad thing. Like the Mandarin. Maybe he invests in the Mandarin or something. I don't know. But that seems kind of interesting. Um, I'm also interested in all the characters that will be played in the movie. Um, I'm interested in how um, War Machine is going to do in the movie. Who is now Iron Patriot. And what his relationship with Tony is now. Because he's still in the... Uh, in the Air Force? Air Force was it? I don't know. I think the Air Force. And how he's going to play with, but still with Iron Man. So that's kind of cool. Um, but it's also interesting to see how it's going to play. And what is going to be at the end. Because every Marvel movie of any super, of any person knows, at the end of every Marvel movie is a scene. Now, if you guys don't stay for that scene, why? Why? There's going to be like 60 people, right? No. Literally, there's going to be like 10 people who leave, and as for you, they're going to stay there and watch it because they are the true ones. And then they're like, oh, wait, we missed it. Can we go back in? No, because we missed it. And I don't even know what the clip is going to be, but it's going to be cool. It could show more Thor footage. Um, could show Captain America footage, which we haven't seen yet. That could be interesting. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Avengers 2, any of those. So, Amazing Spider-Man 2 with Electro and Rhino. I'm getting off the topic. Jamie Foxx's Electro. Awesome. But, um, don't even tell me in the comments what it is, because I don't want to know. Don't even, don't even. Don't spoil it. Don't be a spoiler. Don't be a spoiler. Don't be a ruiner. You know what? Don't. Just don't. But, um, yeah. So, covered all the topics I wanted to. Oh, um, I'm also interested to see the relationship between Pepper Potts and Iron Man. I mean, bleh, romance, bleh. I'm not big on that, but he, eh, he's going to play, I'm wondering how it's going to play out. Because the man burning. A bit, uh, the Mandarin is going to use Pepper Potts against Iron Man. Now, um, what we've seen happen, which is really cool kind of theme, but um, I don't really want that to happen in Iron Man 3, is in the comic, Superman kills his wife, Lois Lane, who has his baby, and he destroys his city. Now, you know what happens then? He's nothing to hold against him. If he's like, oh, well, yeah, well, I have your wife against me. Oh, wait, I don't have anything against you. I mean, my city, your city's gone. And it's like, dude, it's gone. But now he's built up with this fringe, and he can just let loose everything, which is awesome. Now, I don't know how that's going to play out, because if that happens, then that's going to be kind of cool. Go away, dust. No. Um... But yeah, one more thing I want to talk about. What I noticed over the all of the Marvel movies from Iron Man to Iron Man Three is <laughs> uh, so far, or Iron Man to Avengers is they've all shown up to that point a character who was another Avenger. Now mostly, um, if you guys have caught it, um. I, I kind of count Nick Fury as an Avenger. He was kind of like the leader in a way. So that's how I count. Um, from Iron Man, the first one? Uh, yeah, I think so. And then, but like Iron Man 
Iron 2, Natasha Romanoff, Black Widow, Thor, um, Hawkeye, he's in there, so I'm interested to see how that's going to do it, how they're going to play that out. I mean, it could be, like, something really cool, like, right at the end, it could be, like, the end scene, like, you just see, like, the Mandarin shaking hands with someone, he's, like, in a black mask, and it's, it's the Winter Soldier, which would be awesome, that would be really cool. Um, to look at that, and it'll be like, in a way, like the passing of a baton, that would be kind of cool, like, if you know what I mean, like, passing of a baton, like, well, my, the man was like, well, my time is done here, now it's your time, you can torture, uh, torture Captain America and stuff, but yeah, so yeah, I'm really interested, I'm amazed with all this, um, oh, it already released internationally, which is awesome, and that's really cool. And it's already been like the top IMAX movie and stuff. So you know what? Awesome. Just awesome. Can I just say that? Just, just awesome. Okay. Yeah. You guys have a good one. You guys better watch them. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But watch it. Okay. Okay. I'll see you later. Thank you guys. Ooh. And subscribe.